it's Ashley. This is before I brush my teeth, and this one is for the guys. So I was thinking, something that's very important to me is telling you guys the top 10 things that you need to do on dates, because I hear all these horror stories from people about things people are doing on dates, and I'm thinking maybe the guys just don't know. So I'm going to tell you what I think are the top 10 things you need to remember when taking someone out for a night on the town. Number one. Ask questions. I cannot stress this enough. There's nothing worse than going out with somebody and them just sitting there and talking about themselves the whole night. Something my mom always used to tell my brothers, which I thought was the best idea, was write a list of questions before you go because I know I'm the same way. When I get nervous, my mouth just like stops working and my tongue gets all twisted and I'm just like, uh, I don't want to be here. So if you can think ahead of time some of the questions you want to ask, it makes it so much easier when you're out on the date. Number two, listen. Nobody wants to talk to somebody that asks a question and then is looking around and could clearly care less about what you're saying. You want the person you're out with to feel special. So you want to listen to what they're saying. That's the best way to find out what you have in common. Number three, and I cannot stress this enough, do not talk about your ex-girlfriend, your ex-lover, your ex-anything. There is nothing that kills a date more than talking about your ex. Please just don't do it. Number four, eyes here. No girl wants to be out with somebody who keeps looking at her chest or checking her out when she walks away. It's not a good look. Nobody likes it. Number five, compliments. Everybody loves a compliment, but only if you truly mean it. Don't show up and be like, oh yeah, your eyes are beautiful and you look great. Really look at the person and think, oh my gosh, you have the prettiest eyes. Whatever it is that you see in that person that you really truly believe, even if it's their personality, if it's whatever it is, People love to be complimented. For example, the other day my car died and this man, I was like, can I please borrow your jacks? An elderly man and he came over and said, sure, sure, let me get them out, I'll bring my car around. And I said, thank you. And I walked up to the car and he said, are you from Tennessee? And I said, Tennessee, no, why do I sound like I am? And he goes, no, cause you're the only 10 I see. Like so cheesy, but I was dying laughing. Number six, try and find common interests. This is the most important thing when starting a relationship. You want to know if we have the same interests. Of course, not everything has to be the same, but if you can connect on certain things, whether it be activities, television shows, movies, books, animals, whatever it is, it really helps to bring you guys closer and make the night more fun. Number seven, pick a cool date idea. I mean, dinner and a movie is fun and it's great, but I always loved being taken out to the batting cages or going on walks by the water or walking our dogs to a park together. Things like that are just different and they're fun and they're cute. And I bet you guys will have an amazing time. Number eight, keep your cell phone in your pants. No one wants to see you texting. No one wants to see you looking down at your phone because it is literally the rudest thing. And I actually, I have to be aware of this too because I have my cell phone on me all the time. And it's the worst. It's the worst thing I've gotten into. So I'm really going to try and you guys try to keep the phones away when you're trying to have a nice conversation with somebody. Number nine, be yourself. Don't try and be cool. Don't try and be like somebody you're not. Nobody buys it. Just be authentic and natural and silly and goofy and fun and just be yourself. That's the best way to find out if it's gonna work with somebody. Number 10, keep gum in your pocket because if you go for dinner and you eat garlic or whatever it is you eat, you're gonna be worrying about your breath all night. It's not a big deal, but it's just something that'll make you feel better. So keep gum in your pocket, throw it in your mouth when dinner's over and you'll be minty fresh. Okay, your turn. I want to hear about your best date, your worst date, and the best pickup lines you know. Because after that man did the Tennessee 10 I see thing, I was obsessed and I've been saying it to everybody. So if you have a date coming up, remember the things I told you and then let me know how the date goes. I love this stuff. See you guys next week. Bye.